your faith cause to know behold brothers and sisters this world is soon and sorrow and trouble will not last long pain and diseases will bend with their truth hold on to your faith cause to know Gentlemen, welcome to another exciting show of Umasim to Me. Say season four, right here on Life Destiny. Your life, your destiny. Ikamalami Ulondi Waka Kuzwayo. And well joined with Ulondiwe, it is myself in Tombienu Utimakatsu Wagastole. And we are very excited to actually be here with you tonight because we know that we are here to actually praise and to worship. Hope that you are also looking forward to what this day actually has to offer. Hey, Lance? Look, it has a lot to offer us. That's one thing that I'm definitely certain about. <laughs> and on that note, we have an amazing group that goes by the name of Chanter. I don't know, man, this name, but it's really amazing. <laughs> Something like and that. And it's not an international group because they come all the way from Evan. And I'm super, super excited. And remember that the theme for this amazing season is all about Thanksgiving. The fact that you're watching Masim Dumisa right now, mm -hmm. you can breathe, you can see, is a sign of God's mercy and love for each and every single one of us. 
And actually, speaking about the group that will be gracing us with the music tonight, Ishan Tur, or however that they wish to pronounce <laughs> it, you know, uh, I'm reminded of the verse for tonight, Lundu, and it yes. says that, uh, it's found actually in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verses 19. Ah. It says that, speaking <laughs> with in hymns, psalms, and song from the Spirit. Ish. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. And you know what, viewers at home, this group tonight is one group that actually makes music from their heart based on their experience experiences, I am pretty sure that you will definitely enjoy it. But also don't forget to also engage with us on our social media platforms, and that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes. And that is at Masum Dumisa Gospel Show. Indeed, indeed. I love all of that. <laughs> but now I want to get into the music. All right. So how about we jump into it? I see you, Lundu. Kiara Shanto, be blessed. I gotta testify, testify, testify Wow, that beautiful rendition that you just heard right now was from our lovely uh, group of young people called Shanter A Cappella. And I must say, I'm loving their music and it's quite hot in here. Like literally, it is hot in Giyasha. Anyway, at this moment, I'm sitting with two members of the group and uh, it is Ustainli who sings the Turner and Umusa who sings the Soprano. Good evening, guys. Evening, Dimagaz. How are you? How are you guys? We good, and how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. I'm great. I'm actually blessed. I'm loving <laughs> what you guys are doing today, tonight. And um, so, you guys are called Shantur a cappella. Hey, but boom, we see you. It's the king. The, the, the twanging that's going on there. Uh, do you care to tell us more about, you know, what inspired this name, um, Stanley? Oh, okay. Um, the name was inspired by our persistence in singing. Um, even though we were not like 
a full group when we were starting initially we just kept on staging few people uh-huh. so we kept on singing but then the name chanteur is a french word which translates to singer or sing okay. so when All we right. put it in our name we use it as sing a cappella which is chanteur a cappella hello yeah. all right i hear you mm-hmm. okay so it's it, it is a french name you are saying oh yes all yeah. right so okay no wonder the twanging is happening there <laughs> uh, but why 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 specifically did you choose french uh, are, are, are any of the members uh, french speaking not really um we're a diverse group but then we don't have french speaking people oh, okay. but then our friends from church yeah. from stazim they helped us with the name yeah so your friends were french speaking yes okay i like that i like that but yeah man is i feel like some apartheid going on next time you must <laughs> maybe choose like portuguese or something you know yes, yes. <laughs> so you mentioned that uh stasm friends and yada yada mm-hmm. uh, so i'm assuming that you are students yes am yes. i correct yes. yes uh musa tell me more about that um so how did you know the group come about how did you guys become to be shanter well uh we started Okay, we started uh 2017. Okay. Uh, I met Stanley and the other girl, but apparently it didn't work out. Who's the so, other girl? My girl. Uh, it's Lindy <laughs> with my beer. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it didn't work out and then last year my sister came along and I knew she can sing. Okay. And then we started to talk about duet thing. And then when I was working at the campus, I met Stanley. Just walking, Jay. Yeah. And just umbrella, and then the Holy Spirit brought Stanley yes. to you. Hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And God. then when I met him, uh. he was like, Musa, why don't we start a group? Because last year it didn't work out. So let's just recruit people. And then I was like, okay, then we can start a group. And then it was me, him, and my Hold sister. Hold up. Hold up. You met Stanley while you were walking, yes. or you had already known Stanley? I already know. Stanley. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, you can go on. Yeah, mm. and then uh, uh, one Sabbath we went to church, and then uh, I spoke with Stanley that we need a bass singer. Okay. So and then uh, we approached Chiputa, and then there was also this other guy. We also recruited him and another lady because apparently now um, there's two people who left the group and then we had to replace them. All right. So, and then um, when we, when I told him to, to look for maybe someone who can sing soprano, who can direct music, who is uh-huh, good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we thought of Boosie. And then when we thought of Boosie, and then I, I went I went to talk to Chibuta because I was scared to approach her. Okay, okay. <laughs> so Chibuta is also uh, one of your members. Yeah, he's okay. a bass singer. So and then Chibuta went and talked to Busi and she agreed and then we came together and I remember we went outside during lunchtime uh-huh. and then we started singing um, hymn number 34, When Peace Like a River. When Peace River. Like a River, yes. beautiful song. Yes, and we just sang it like the way congregations sing it. And then uh, from there, and then he came with a song. Uh huh. Yeah, he'll take the pain away. That's when we started, and then we talked that we talked that okay, guys, we should maybe one of each of us, like everyone, should come up with a song. And Beautiful. Then, yeah. Hold it there. Uh, okay. So now, what I'm interested in, uh, Stanley, is mm-hmm. what. What criteria were you looking at when you were choosing the group members? Was it just like, oh, let's who, who knows who, who can sing? Let's pick that one she can sing. Or were you looking for something specific that will actually fit into the mission of your of your ministry? Yeah, um, we're really looking for something specific, not just right. looking at anyone. Mm-hmm. So um, we knew Chibuta was very good in bass because um, we had heard him in a group called uh, Valstazim Choir, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and then. Busi, Busi came in with a, a lot of experience, like according to the people who knew her. Uh-huh. Um, oh, Busi, Busi is the one that sings, what, what part does she sing? She sings, she sings also like, soprano, yeah. Oh, oh. yay, Lucifer going on. Yeah. I see, okay, wow, so, talented, eh? So we were very lucky to get her. Uh-huh. Yeah, so we, we tried to get her and we got her because uh-huh. we knew she could direct our music because she has so much experience and talent. 
So yeah. Beautiful. Mm. I love that. So you know, um, you 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 touched on a point that you know you guys came up with songs and you know com composing your own songs. I actually love that. The this, one of the songs that you guys sing is um, he was despised. And I'd like to think it was inspired by Isaiah 53. Who came up with that song and what was going on behind, you know, you know actually creating that song? Uh. Well, I, I did come up. I introduced the song Beautiful. to the group. Beautiful, lovely. Yeah, so just reading the text, it was interesting, like, what Jesus went through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how there was a prophecy, actually, of what was going to happen yeah, to Jesus. Yeah. And it was so painful when reading it that... Um, we, as people, we despised our Savior and rejected him. Mm. So, in another way, we're trying to remind ourselves of how we betrayed him and how we Eish. owe him every day ne? because of that song. Through that song, we, we're trying to remind each other every day that we owe him. Yeah. Great, great stuff. Well, guys, I always say this. It's, this is not a talk show, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so it's a music show and the music must go on. People are waiting to hear the music. And however, thank you so much for spending your wonderful time with me and just talking to us, you know, and telling us more about your group. And from, from you know, from the bottom of my heart, I really wish that God may continue to bless your ministry, that it may grow thank you and so that you may much. continue to bless more souls out there. Right. Thank you so much, Dima. Okay. And now back to you, our viewers at home. I hope that you actually enjoyed the chat that we had with uh, Shanter a cappella and you will continue to enjoy more of their music. Do enjoy. Thank you. 
joined us you are watching Masim to me says season four right here on life destiny and of course we are joined by the one and only group from a valley and they go by the name of chanta i don't know man but i would really like to have such a nice name for a group <laughs> joining me right now is the one and only chips and bussy hello guys Hi. Hi. How are you? Good in yourself. You. Good, thanks. Man, I've been blessed by your music. Thank you so much. So amazing. <laughs> Young people doing great things for the Lord. What yes, more do we want? Yes. You know, which is really beautiful. So I know that you guys are from Val. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys meet? Val University, if I'm correct, right? Yes. yes. Right. So this is in the, in the year 2018. 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. I want to know something. You know, Varsity is so big. And I truly believe that it's also the greatest platform for you to showcase whatever that you're passionate about. How did you guys take this group on another level in university? All right. Um, it began with, uh, of course, we started singing at small events. All right. In, 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 in the university. university. Yes. All right. So there would be an exam prayer. Ah. Usually before exam starts, okay. there is an exam prayer. During the duration of the exam, actually, it goes on. So what we would do is uh, we would get invited to come sing on that platform. And we would sing minister to people mm -hmm. so that they may study well and uh, ease the nerves before they write, you know. Sure. You know? That's the effect of music. So how did you guys get invited? Who invited you in the first place? I mean, how do you, I mean, there has to be something great that you were doing for you to get invited. And then who calls you to say, you know what, guys, this is the time for exams. We need you as, as young people that are working for the Lord to help us in this process. Yeah, it all began, um, actually, I had put up a status of a video um, nice. okay. with uh, us practicing. Then someone in the leadership of uh, the SRC in okay. the university saw the status and then requested us to come and sing. Lovely. And that's how we continued uh, singing on that platform. That's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful. And you are, what do you do for a living? Well, we'll I'm see. studying. You are studying? Yes, I'm doing my third year in logistics. So you still basically in Val? Yes. So you also then still continue this ministry there, I suppose? Absolutely. You do? Yes. Okay, great. Do you guys have a social media page? How do people get into, into, interact with you? How do they get a hold of you? Since clearly you're so amazing in university, but other people out there, if they really want to reach you, what platforms do you guys use? And do you think they're effective enough in spreading the word of God? Uh, well... We have a Facebook page okay. and an Instagram page, and we we also post uh, on our individual accounts, yeah. uh, posting shunter so mm. that we can be able to spread it to our friends that are also not at none who are non Adventists. Sure. Yes, mm. so it it is a great platform. Benefit. Yes, I really it's, like it that. It reaches the masses. Really. Yeah. Busi, you still there doing logistics. Um, um, you left by now? No, I'm still there. You're still there yes. as well. So I want to know something. Do you guys ever get ridiculed for doing the Lord's work by other young people that are in the university, basically? Well, in the beginning, yes. Okay. But of late, no, we actually um, get so much encouragement to, to carry on with this ministry. Mm. Um, 
yeah, as young pe people, we face a lot of challenges and we deviate from yeah. from doing God's work. But mm. the encouragement that we get from our fellow uh, students yeah. helps us a lot. So, I mean, at the beginning, you ridiculed for doing this. They're thinking, what in the world is this? What's going on? Right. And then years later or a year later, they actually are the ones who are calling you to be part of, you know, um, sharing this ministry with other young people. What, what is it that you think that you guys hold on to or have held on to for this long that has gotten you to actually stand strong in this ministry? Right. Um, the biggest challenge that we had at mm. first that caused a lot of ridicule was maintain, getting the harmony. Okay. Yes, when starting a group, getting the harmony is one of the biggest challenges. Mm. But as we got the harmony mm. and the determination okay. to reach a certain goal, that's what made us to be recognized and also to push as individuals towards perfection. Love yeah. I love that. So even though it's, it's the ministry or doing the work of the Lord, it actually was because that your craft was not on perfect, perfect as yet. Yes. So you had to then work on your craft. So it wasn't the message that was wrong. Mm -hmm. You guys realize that the actual importance of this is making sure that you're professional and you deliver quality. Yes. Exactly. So yes. is that real? Do you find that as something really critical for you? That's even though the Lord's work, as besides logistics or you studying what you're studying, you know, doing the Lord's work requires as much commitment as well as, you know, perseverance. The performance of it needs to be really great. Yes. You truly uh, believe so? Uh, when it comes to God, you have to give him your best. Give him you all. Like, yeah. really, you cannot go and uh, present to his children when yes. you're not prepared. Half prepared. You know, Mediocracy here. Yeah. It shouldn't be about what that. What are you pre representing, really? Mm. God is God is a God of who is perfect. Yes. So we need to render what is perfect in his I love eyes. that. Mastering that at a young age is so beautiful. Because they always say that, you know, to become great, you do the small things over and over and over again until you make it really big, you know? May God bless you. In closing, I just want to know something, right? We're in the year 2019, and, you know, I want to know what projects do you guys have planned or what is it that you want to see happening to the group in the next year or two? Um, at the moment, this, this mm -hmm. year that we're currently in, we're planning on doing two singles. Two um, singles. Two singles, yes. And these are made written and... Yes. Um, okay. Ninety percent of our songs are written by us. Lovely. So we, which is very rare. Yes, it's. So you guys rare. are a bunch of creative yes. bubbles, yes. Jay. Yes. Lovely. Yes. Okay. So we're planning on doing the singles, and mm -hmm. then once the singles are out there, then we'll now start working on the album. On the album. Yes. Do you have album. the name for the album yet, or is it a secret? No, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a let secret. You know. yeah, let me know in two times. It's probably know. gonna be French. <laughs> it's probably gonna be French. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know that we're in Africa, like, you know, <laughs> revolutionary. But we're we we diverse, you know. You, yeah, no, that's true. I mean, reach out to the biggest market that you ever mm -hmm. can. Thank you so much. Busi. Thank, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. May God really, really bless you in your ministry. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. There you have it. The two members from the one and only Chanteur. I hope that you've been blessed just as I've been blessed. Stay tuned for more lovely music by this amazing group.
Back to your favorite music show on TV, and that is Masim Dumise on Life Destiny TV. Your life, your destiny. What's going to happen right now is that we will be taking you to a poetry session where you'll be inspired with, you know, words of inspiration from, you know, from hearts that actually want to praise and worship God. Indeed, indeed. But before we can jump into the amazing, uplifting moments of uh -huh. the show, I want to tell you more about how much we really love you. We love you so much that we care about which events you can attend and also where are awesome programs happening. Mm -hmm. So, here is our gig guide. Keep your eyes glued onto the screen. screen. Brother Shimoka, I don't know about you, but I'm super, super excited about the AMC 2019. Tell us more. What can we look forward to? AMC 2019 will be happening. We've got groups from um, other countries in Africa, groups like Omega Gens, Jasper C, Vibes, and we've got the Vine from Zimbabwe. We also have um, groups from around South Africa, your No Limits, Hush, we've got Chrysolite, We've got Noted, a, a newcomer, and we've got other groups that will be coming up as well. Um, tickets, you can get them from CompuTicket. Come with your colleagues, come with everyone. Let's have some fun for 2019. Oh, I'm so excited. There you have it. That is the lineup that's going to be happening at the hashtag AMC2019. And don't forget that our theme at the red carpets, that's going to be me and Udima K, is simply what a time to be an Adventist. And I hope to see you there. Look good and look smart and let's praise the Lord. Did I say 9th of November 2019? Let's meet. Only in reality, only in reality, human beings can only understand, can only understand what God has done. He has given us only the moment's pleasure, the moment's pleasure that we can only remember. Remember because we are one. We are one in spirit, yet we are broken in reality. For we know that only in 
just a moment, a moment of creating this reality that we know not of, for we have nothing to do with. See, paying it forward is giving, paying it forward is leaving, paying it forward is God. God only remembers the ones that give. See, he said, visit me in prison, visit me in hospitals, visit me in all the places that the destitute can only remember me. But you, humanity, the only thing that you remember is unforgiving. Only to remember is murder, sin that we can only replicate, replicate to the future generations, to only give one Peace of mind that only comes in pieces, not only in pieces, but in a fullness that we cannot put together. See, God said, you, human being, I will deliver you. I will put you into a place of salvation by giving you the son, the son that will deliver you, deliver you to eternity. See, I, God, I, God, will come in human form to deliver you, but you only see me as this person that is distant. For only in prayer that you think I can reach to you. See, I gave you the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit to remind you that I, God, I am always with you in times of need, in times of destitute. So see, pay it forward. For when you know that I, God, exist, pay it forward. Give it to the next so that they can teach the next and the next to know that I, God, exist. It's been such an amazing show. So amazing that mm -hmm. I actually learned how to speak French. Shanto. <laughs> Thank you so much to the lovely group that has blessed us with their journey as well as the solemn music that they've brought to the show. Mm -hmm. And of course to you, our viewers at home. Thank you for being such an amazing audience of viewers. We love you all so much. Same time, same place. Right here on Masim Dumise. Well, we know that is, we are, it is time for us where we say goodbye, but it is not the end of us. You can still continue to chat with us on our social media platforms, and that is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We look forward to chatting with you, hearing from you, you know, just getting your opinions about the show and what you think needs to be improved or who you want to see uh, invited on the show. Indeed, indeed. And I hate saying goodbyes, but we have to say our goodbyes. I love you all so much. Ikamalam And I am Good night.